This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofinet and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Last time we learned a bit about how to play Gwent and today we'll continue our journey and our search for Yennefer. So let's head outside. Done drinking. That doesn't look good. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. This is very reminiscent of a bar scene in the first book. Let's keep it calm for now. Wouldn't want to stay long anyway. Maybe not. And maybe you'll just stay forever. Six feet under. Okay. Come on, come closer. Okay. Okay, I needed to get into that one. Kings do the fighting, but peasants do the dying. So I'm gonna take a quick look to see what potions I have available already. Probably not much. Okay, nothing. Great. Let's take a look around. Oh. Wanted honeycombs. We'll pay top coin, large quantities. Welcome to Mira the Herbalist. Okay. We'll eat grass during the Keep an eye out for those. Taken all our grain. May sunshine upon you. Seems to be a blacksmith. Mm -hmm. With a side quest. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got it nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. <laughs> what do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Poor guy. I'm sorry. Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang down to the plate, shoe horses. That's what I think. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But well, then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? 
Good luck. Okay. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna try not to say exactly what the answer says because it's gonna get boring after a while. So let's see. I'm gonna put that as our main quest right now, I think. Yeah, thank you. Twisted fire starter. So let's see what we can find. What happened to your mug? Mum, don't let us talk to strangers. My mug? What's wrong with my face? It doesn't seem to be anything. Oh, there's something. Shavings from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Follow the trail. Boot prints. A man's. Large. That's not good. Stinks of piss and vodka. Great. So, someone set the forge alight while drunk? That's better than because of him being a dwarf and helping Nilfgaard. Okay, thank you. Stop spitting in my ear. So yeah, Nilfgaardians Gardens also have their own language. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Or not. Smart man. Who is this? Oh. Soup out of something, but Tosley said something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Okay, so he's probably injured. Will you go to the well in Hovel instead? Not on your life. I'd rather be ill than disturb a ghost. Lost his boots in the rush. Good day. What's new? Tracks lead back to the village. Okay then. I think those plums are wreaking havoc on my gut. Oh, there they are. Lost the tracks there for a second. My grand told me about oh, this boy. Lad went missing one day, so I hope Abby was hunting. We meet again. Hi, Bram. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? Uh, I'll let it go half free. Yeah, sure. Let me have a look at your stock. Let's see. So there's gear I apparently can't use because I'm too low of a level. Horse blinders, saddle bags, and a weapon repair kit. Ooh, what's that? Griffin decoction. First, see what I can sell to this man. I'm gonna just take the weapon repair kit for now. Let's not buy too much for now. So the weapon repair kit and a few cards. Take care. Thanks, Bram. So, oh. My grand told me about the Smith's boy. Lad went missing well, one day, so least. most lad a witchman that was hunting nearby started poking him, asking. When well, he started no. twisting and squirming, so wham bam, they knocked his head off. Aye, wow, so it worked. even knocked Except the door off. some drowner that had sat on the kid. Witcher had nothing to do with it. What did the first Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Oh, yeah, probably. Not in bed. <laughs> Why is everybody spitting me? Drowner claw marks. It 
It's gotta be him. Nap. Hello, Nap. Let's Nasty have a little wound. chat. Oh. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa. Our arsonist's a charmer, too. Come on. Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all. And dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies. Do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Nope. Listen. We can work this out man to man. I give you gold. You don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some. But what's left is yours. I'm not gonna take that. You just put fire to that man's house. No chance. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Let's just try and calm him down with Axie. Calm down. Now follow me. Let's go, boyo. You're never to sing that rhyme again. Okay. That actually made it okay. Up and at him. Hmm? What? What? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. D didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Ooh. Sorry about that one. Um, seems a bit harsh, although it was his entire house. Harsh as punishment goes, but deserved. You True. Know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Great. So that's the Twisted Fire Starter Quest. 20 crowns. Anything else? So we can enhance our weapons at grindstones such as these, which will give us a 25% attack bonus with all of our swords. Let me check out the notice board first. Hark fair folk of the north, if you've a yearning for freedom, if you've preferred to take up arms to defend the motherland, Head to the woods, we grow stronger by the day and will soon show the Nilfgaardian vermin that the Temerian nation will not bear its yoke without a fight. If your heart bleeds blue golden lilies, you will sooner die for your country than live as a slave to foreigners. Let us swear by our fathers who fell to the beasts at Sodom, by the souls of the dead buried at Brenna to arms. We're gonna take that. Volunteers wanted. By order of Captain Peter Sar Gwynleave, let it hereby be known that enlistment in the Imperial Army is now open. Recruits will be provided with room, board and regular pay. Yet the greatest payment of all is the honor of serving Amir Vars Embrys, Dithweed Adden in Karm Ape Morvud. Wow, that's a mouthful. Once enlisted, recruits will be trained under the tutelage of the Empire's greatest strategists. 
Recruits' families will be assured sufficient sustenance for the entire time of their service. In the case of their death on the field of glory, they will receive a lifelong pension. The wanted deserter. Last night, a soldier fled from the army camp under cover of darkness. The wanted man, a recruit who recently volunteered to join His Imperial Majesty's service, goes by the name of Odrin. He claimed to be a Cadwini by birth, but said King Hansel's misrule had convinced him to join the Imperial Army. He was part of said institutions for mere two days, but managed to eat and drink enough in that time for an entire regiment of dragoons. Anyone with information about this deserter's present location is to report to the garrison at once. Description, modest stature, wiry, with thinning hair, blah blah blah. Okay. So... I'm gonna take that, but I don't think that will be a quest. Looking to borrow a plow. <laughs> okay. Brother missing. Bastion, my brother, went off to fight the Black Ones. I've reason to think he stood in the great battle nearby. He's not returned to this day. Like many others, you'll say, and you'll be in the right. But it, if he fell, and I know it's like he did, I'd give him up to the ground the least, like our fathers have done always. I bury him neath the barrow where our parents lie, not leave his corpse to be ate by the corpses prowling the battleground. So I seek a man brave, able with a sword, and willing to venture out with me to find Bastion. I won't pay much, for I have not much to give, but I'm not stingy with gratitude and sure to show it a plenty. Any man willing to help look for a raised hut along the road to watch orchard, just near the bridge, I've made camp there. June Vildenfurt. And then contract devil by the well. Good folk, I know there's a war on every man's... And every man's got trouble enough to put his own, but that perhaps there's one of you who could help a father in need. You will surely know the well in the ruined village, and the devil that guards it with a jealous fury. And if you don't know, well, come ask and I'll tell you all about it. Whoever drives that monster away from the well will get a fat, a fat purse full of gold. Just don't tarry, for it's an urgent matter. Or golden. So there's a few messages on this current location and the devil by the well. So that's about it. And the missing action. Damn, to find the brother. Sit in the old oak tree. Brew inside her with devilish tea. Drink okay. down. So I'm first going to continue the main quest for a bit. Let's get the roach here. Okay, that doesn't look handy. Faster. Not so fast, Roach. Let's check this house out. So there's a man here. But he'll probably won't see me. When I loot a bit of his stuff. Oh. <laughs> ah, that's the note, probably. That seems to be something else. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. Me it pan? always sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. I was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have eaten me. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. And I sees he ain't listening, just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, 
destroying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Okay. Interesting. What happened then? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black was sort, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. That would be a great uh, guess, I think. Okay. We'll... Never taken on a pan contract. <laughs> Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. So. That people. So we can break down doors with hard. Let's check this place out. And loot it completely empty. Ah, okay. Well, there's a, a dead corpse. man, all right. Explains the stench. Cracked monocle. Interesting. What's oh. that, dearie? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going barmy. Okay, what else is in here? We must find her pan, otherwise she's gonna go... Crazy! Blunt crossbow bolt. And a fork wielded coction. And there's the pan. Okay, that was the last thing I tried to do, but. Get the shelf, goddammit. Ah, uh, the priceless frying pan. Hmm. <laughs> Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Oh. Found okay. the pan, have you? Documents almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan, have you? Yeah, we have. Oh. Yeah, there we have it. Honeycomb. But we haven't found the herb list yet, I think. Let's check out that letter. And when you arrange to meet, you fucking show up. I did, risking my life and the entire blasted operation and ended up standing there with my plowing cock in my hands, waiting for nothing. I thought the Nilfgaardian army was better organized than that, but you... <coughs> tell that blessed Lord General of yours that me and my companions don't hold grudges so we won't break off negotiations. But since our old plan's gone tits up, this time we'll choose the time and place for the next meeting. Okay, so drop it, I guess. Let's read Yennefer's letter. Uh, I'll read it in a bit. I'll give the old lady her pan back first. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot, and I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilfgaardians. 
Hang about. Would have had something to you do with them. You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny, for the road. Thank you. Fry up a nice white fish for Another side quest done. <laughs> eight experience points. Why, right, thank you. And five baked apples. So, the Nilf Guardian, uh, some ex soldiers of the Nilf Guardians, was apparently up to some mischief. I guess this will come up later on. So let's read that letter. Dear friend, forgive me for not asking about your health or how you have been these last years. Time is very short. I have important news. We must meet and soon. Ride to Willoughby near Vizima and don't spare the horses. While I do eagerly await your our reunion, I won't be able to wait eagerly or otherwise very long. Your dear friend, Yennefer. P.S. I still have the unicorn. So I've already mentioned the unicorns. I'm gonna put that in my inventory for now. So I've read those two. So can I make any of those potions yet? No. Briona, Fortium, Mutagen. Dark Tallow. They are fat. Okay, so nothing yet. The swallow is the one we're gonna need the most. Move it. Come on now. Okay. Oh. Let's see how I can handle that. Seems to be one. Or not. Not the way, Jesus. Food really quickly like this. That seems a bit too much for my taste right now. Not so fast, Roach. Okay, seems like we found the North Guardian military camp. That is what you 